Some of you have asked me to create a Discord server and I finally decided to make one. I have no idea how many of you are interested in this and how many of you are even Discord users, but the link is down in the description and currently it's just a very basic setup. Maybe we can build a nice sound design community from there. This is going to be a really quick tutorial on how you can sound design waves in Whitel. And it's going to be rather simple because one effect is doing most of the work. As some of you might have already anticipated, we're going to be using white noise for this. Even though you could also use different types of noise or even one of the oscillators for this if you played around with it a bit. So let's just activate the sampler down here with the default white noise. Then we can already head over to the effects section and just activate the reverb. We can set the mix to 100% and increase the time quite a bit and then the main effect comes from this chorus section here in the reverb so we can just set the chorus amount and the chorus frequency to 100 percent and because we are at 100 percent mix the sound is going to be a bit quieter so if you want you can increase the volume a bit and now we have this kind of sound The white noise now is too audible, so we can go back to the filter section here and actually just route the sampler through filter 1. And what you can try to do is to find a good cutoff section where the white noise is not that audible anymore. What I have found also works quite well is if you just set the cutoff all the way down and then just use compression to bring the sound back up. Now we're gonna have to increase the volume a bit more. If you want to boost the sound a bit more, you can also use distortion. Let's increase the time here a bit. And we can also use the delay to increase the stereo width. Let's just use this in stereo mode. Set both sides to seconds. And then just use the house effect and delay one side over the other. Set the feedback to zero and the mix to 100%. And now we have this sound. You can also increase the size of the reverb to change the sound. You can also bring more movement into this by using the cutoff section here in the reverb. You could also just use an EQ afterwards or in front of the reverb to play around with this a bit more and make it sound a bit more realistic by also using filter movements here. And it's possible that you're gonna get some weird artifacts in the tail, but in this case I would just maybe use another reverb after Whitel to wash the entire sound out a bit more, and then this shouldn't be too audible anymore. <laughs> 